Hi, this is Lou from Glowing Pigs International, and this is the sixth in a series of tutorials showing you how to code an app that plays music in a service. And you'd want to do this so that the music's in the background and a person can initiate the music, then go get their email or surf the web or whatever, and still have the music playing in the background. In tutorial five, the last tutorial, we dealt with uh, monitoring the phone state so if a phone call comes in the music will pause you can be on the call as long as you want when you hang up the music continues to play from where it left off what we're going to do next is we're going to take care of an issue where when you're streaming off the web or the cloud or whatever you want to call it the uh, media player takes a little while to get prepared it has to go locate the uh, uh, mp3 that you're playing and then it's also got to uh, buffer it before it uh, gets ready to play and depending upon the network the person has it could take uh, you know a second or two or it could take five to ten seconds and during that time the person might not know whether their app is working so you want to give them a little dialogue box a progress dialogue that would pop up and say you know getting the going to get the song or or buffering or something like that now just to show you what I mean, if, if we hit the application as it stands now, we hit play, you see it's a few seconds before, before the music actually plays. Now it's playing. So uh, we want to be able to take care of that and we're going to learn a few concepts. Um, an issue you have when you have a service running in the background is the service is not in any way uh, connected to the activity once you start it unless you specifically do something to connect it. There are a number of ways to do this. What we're going to deal with right now is uh, broadcasts. Uh, broadcast is a message that is sent out just like a radio broadcast. It's sent out everywhere and just like you would tune in on a radio to pick up a certain frequency uh, you, you give each message an identifier and then there are uh, receivers in other applications and those receivers are set up to identify or to, to receive for just a particular identifier. It's like uh, TV going to a particular channel for example. So we're going to set up our uh, service to broadcast a message with a certain identifier and we're going to set up our activity to receive a message with that identifier. So the reason we're going to do this is when we set up the media player to play, the first thing we do, if you remember, is we do a prepare async and that tells the media player to get prepared. When we do that prepare, we're going to send a message over to the activity, and the activity is going to read that message and say, oh, I have to pop up a dialog box, a progress dialog, and it will pop that box up. When we get to on prepared in the service where the media player is now prepared to play, it's going to send another message to the activity saying, I'm now ready to play, and the activity will then receive that message and take away the dialog box and that's how you do communication between a service and an activity as I said there are other ways also but this is a very common way to do it and this is how we're going to do it today so let's take a look at our uh, service here and uh, first thing we need to do is we need to just set up the broadcast identifier and the intent we always use intents to communicate so we're saying this string broadcast buffer broadcast underscore buffer is actually this com which is our package name and some we're going to call it broadcast buffer so that sets up what what the identifier is then we're going to set up an intent called buffer intent then we have to instantiate that buffer intent so we do that here and we give it the identifier broadcast buffer. So next thing we need to do now is 
at the point that we're actually starting the media player and we want to pre right before we prepare it you want to send that message over to the activity saying uh, you know we're preparing this audio now pop up that dialog box so what we're really we're going to invoke here a method called send buffering broadcast and we'll uh, I'll show you what that method looks like. It's fairly simple here. Okay, we're gonna. This is the, the method that sends the message that the audio is being prepared. So what we're doing is we're saying buffer intent, which was the intent we set. We're going to put a value of one in that, and then send the broadcast over to the activity. Likewise, we want to be able to send something over to the activity that says that the broadcast is that the media player is now prepared. So we're going to send the message with the same identifier through the buffer intent, but we're going to place a value of zero in there, and that's how uh, the activity will know to take away that dialog box because the music is playing. So now we have to plug that, uh, sending that message into the onPrepared method. And really all that is is invoking the uh, method that we just created. So send buffer complete broadcast and then it will play the media. So we're saying the media player is now prepared. Send a message to the activity to take away the dialog box. So that's what happens in your service. Okay. Now in your activity you have to receive that message. So we have a number of things we have to do within that activity. Um, first thing is we have to create some variables. Um, we're going to create two of them. First one is a boolean which says <coughs> every, every uh, broadcast receiver has to be registered. So we're going to register. You, there are ways to register. You can register it in your program and you can actually register it within the manifest file. There are different reasons for doing each of those. For us, we just want to uh, keep the broadcast receiver registered while the activity is actually active. So um, we're just going to do it programmatically. And then we have a bullet. So we have uh, this that tells us whether it's registered or not, and then we have to also create a dialog, uh, progress dialog, and we're calling it pdbuff and initializing it as null. The next thing we need to do is actually deal with uh, receiving the message and putting up the dialog. So let's get that code. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to show you for a second, just a second. Here. And let's we'll see what we'll see what we got here. Okay. So, we're going to create this method here, show PD, and it's pulling in as a uh, as parameters here the intent buffer intent, which is that intent that's coming from the service there. And uh, you see here that we're getting the string with a get string extra. We're getting the string called buffering which is coming from the uh, <coughs> intent that's coming from the service and then we're getting the value of that so when the value we have a switch based on that value if the value is one we want to show the dialog if the value is zero we want to dismiss the dialog so we have a case uh, here that's set up so if PDF we first check to make sure that the 
dialog is uh, there, so if it's not null, we dismiss it, and that's the value when it's zero. When it's one, we want to uh, invoke the method called buffer dialog, which sets up the dialog, and that's over here. We're saying, well, let me take this out of here. This is how you set up a progress dialog. You uh, say pdbuff, which is your, the name of your dialog, equals pro progress dialog show. We're showing, and this is the context, context my activity dot this, and this is what you're actually going to say within it, which is buffering acquiring song. Okay. Now we have to set up a broadcast receiver to receive our messages to pop up this. So let's set this up. So we have to number one import broadcast receiver, uh, the library. Okay. And we're saying Broadcast buffer receiver, which is the name of our broadcast receiver, is a new broadcast receiver. We're instantiating it. And then we're saying on receive, we want to show this dialog box. Progress dialog, buffer intent. Okay, so that's how you set that up. Now, we still haven't registered this receiver. You have to register the receiver. So we're going to add two things to. Uh, this activity okay we have to add uh, an activity has certain states that it goes into uh, two of those are on pause and on resume and those are things uh, states that it goes into when you're bringing the activity into view and when you're taking the activity away from view and it's during those times we only want this receiver to be active when the activity is actually on a person's screen. So we're going to plug both of those uh, in here. So a way that you can do this because they are actually uh, methods that are we're going to override. We go down to override implement methods and the two that we want are on pause and we want on resume. So this will plug those right in there. There they are, on pause and on resume. And on pause, we want to unregister the broadcast receiver. And on resume is when we want to register it. Because on pause is when we're leaving the activity. And on resume is when we're coming back to it or when we starting it up. So plug this in. Okay, so we're saying if the bu if that boolean is set to true, buffer broadcast is registered, we want to unregister. We don't want to unregister, it's already unregistered. Okay, so the we so we have that. And then If it is not registered, we want to register it, on, register it on resume. We have to import that library. Okay, so if you let's just save this, and as we always do, let's format our source here and make sure it's all clean. And so let's just review what we did here. We'll go to the service. And let's clean that up. And basically in the service what we've done is we've set up a broadcast identifier, broadcast underscore buffer, and, and an intent. And then we say when we're ready to play the audio, Let's find that here. We want to broadcast that we're preparing the audio. We want to broadcast that to the activity. And then when it's actually prepared, we want to send another broadcast that says, 
it's now prepared to take down that dialog. Then in the activity, we're set up to receive it. So we're saying, you know, uh, we're getting the value that was sent over in the broadcast either dismissing the dialogue or creating the dialogue based on that value. Here's where we create the dialogue and then the rest is just dealing with the receiver, instantiating it, setting it up, and registering it and unregistering it. So let's see what happens when we run this just give it a second here to come up and I'm going to turn up the volume and now it looks like the same thing we had before but as you'll see it's got one extra feature now I hit that and it pops up this dialogue and as soon as it starts to play the dialogue goes away so that's just another nice thing to add to make your application a little bit more clean and effective for the user and we're going to move on to the next tutorial where we're going to talk about dealing with headsets and being able to stop the music from playing if somebody's got a headset plugged in and they take it out. And uh, we're also going to deal with uh, future ones where we're going to be able to move to various points within the audio that you're playing. We'll create a uh, little seek bar to do that. So just stay tuned and you'll see this stuff come up fairly soon. See you next time.